Alright, so guys, welcome again uh, to my channel. So in this vlog, i-discuss naman natin anong ibig sabihin ng co-op or cooperative. So, mayroong dalawang batas na naisubmit sa pagpagawa sa paggawa or sa pagdika ng cooperative. Ang bagong batas na nagawa yung by virtue of Republic Act 9520 or the Cooperative Code of the Philippines of 2018 or 2014 rather. Uh, ito naman yung uh, tumitibay, kung nagpapatibay sa legalidad ng cooperative. Ang ibig sabihin ng cooperative is this members own and control uh, operation. So, sa, sa isang cooperative, ito naman ay lahat ng mga membro ay pantay-pantay. So, ito naman ay pinangunahan ng ating mga board of directors and of course, the officers and the management. So, iba't ibang klase ng cooperative. Meron tayong natawag na financial cooperative and service cooperative. And then, we also have housing cooperative and so forth. And so forth. So, isa-isahin natin ang iba't ibang ori ng cooperative. So, first, we discuss about the service cooperative. Ito naman yung mga cooperative nag-o-offer ng kahit anong uh, uh, service Like, for example, Uh, household services or mga transport services and so forth. So, ang mga miyembro doon halimbawa sa transport services ay yung mga drivers and operators na nag involved doon sa transport sectors. And, for, and other type of cooperative like housing cooperative, ito naman yung cooperative ah, na ina-assist ng ating NHA or National Housing Authority like yung mga subdivisions and so forth. So, sila naman yung mga nasa housing cooperative. And also, we have the farmers cooperative, yung, yung cooperative ng mga magsasaka. And we also have the consumers cooperative, yung ang kanilang uh, purpose naman nito is yung pagpibinta ng mga goods and services, like mga tindahan or gulayan and so forth. And lastly, yung isang ori ng cooperative kung saan tayo involved ay financial cooperative. Yung financial cooperative naman uh, offers loan services, savings, and etc. So, anything that is related to finances. So, ang pinaka main objective naman nito is para magkaroon ng pondo na hihiramin ng mga member. Halimbawa, if, you, if there are uh, 20 members tapos mag mag-contribute mag kayo each, yung contribution nyo na ikakapitalize ng cooperative, yung tinatawag natin na share capital. Sa share capital naman, ito yung binabaro ng mga members para uh, sa business nito. So, ang mga interest charges sa financial cooperative, nakadepende ito sa napagkasunduan. Sometimes, it's 1%, 2%, or depende sa percentage, or doon sa possible expenses na ma-incure sa pagpapatakbo ng cooperativa. Okay. So, ang cooperative ay isang legal activity na again, uh, by virtue of 9520 or Republic Act 9520, uh, may mga regulations na kasuad doon. So, ang government regulating body naman nito ay tinatawag natin na Cooperative Development Authority. So, lahat ng mga cooperative sectors or cooperative organization ay niregister doon sa CDA or Cooperative Development Authority. Kasi yung CDA, sila naman yung nagbibigay ng trainings, education, or continuous education doon sa management, sa staff, and sa mga officers and directors na ang cooperative para tuloy-tuloy at, mas, at masiguradong masasupervise ng maayos ang pagpapatakbo ng cooperative at upang ito'y O, at upang mapatibay ang pagpatakulik po nakadepende sa sitwasyon or sa panahon. So, yun ibig sabihin ng cooperative. So, again, ang mga members ang nagpapatakbo dito. Ang mga members nag elect ng mga board of directors and officers at yung mga board of directors and officers naman nag-hire ng management para uh, of course, i-manage ang cooperative para walang uh, conflict of interest or uh, Uh, hindi naman, para hindi ma-mess up ang operations nito. Now, so, there, there are questions like, paano ba maging member ng isang cooperative? 
So, nakadepende ito sa mga qualifications na isi-set. Kasi klase-klase ang kooperatiba, mayroon tayong tinatawag na open type cooperative, like a community-based cooperative, kung saan kahit sino ang magiging miyembro nito. And meron din tayong tinatawag na close type cooperative, ito yung mga employees cooperative. Kung halimbawa, uh, ang isang school or isang opisina magkatayo ng kooperatiba na exclusive lamang ang membership. Again, there are advantages and disadvantages and differences between this type of cooperative. For example, sa open type cooperative or sa community-based cooperative, ang advantage nito is unlimited ang number of members. But the risk is that when it comes to loan services, nasa high risk ang loan collections kasi walang assurance kung makukulag o hindi or makukulag ba on time o hindi ang kanilang napahirap. For a uh, close type cooperative like uh, employees cooperative, ang advantage nito is nasisingil ng maayos ang mga loan collectibles. Kasi nga, nakaka- sometimes there are uh, payroll arrangement between the cooperative and of course the office. Ang disadvantage naman ito, the number of members are very limited. So, when it comes to growth, so less growth, but a 100% collection efficiency rating when it comes to collections. Okay? So, yun ang overview ng ating cooperative. If you have questions, just comment down below, then I will get back to you as soon as possible. So, don't miss out our, second, our third video because we will discuss what is Paluwagan Cooperative.